Okay. Uh, we did say there was going to be a substitution question. Uh, it's, it's quite painful, isn't it? Six marks. Use the substitution 2 plus ln t to find the exact value of the integral of 1 over t 2 plus ln t squared dt. Right. I am... Um, I, I, <laughs> the little kind of disclaimer at the start of this, I deliberately haven't, haven't looked at my answer for this yet. Um, there's often a few ways of going through substitution questions, so let's, let's think out loud about how we can work our way through this. We know, whatever else happens, that we're going to change the limits and we're going to differentiate the thing that we're substituting. So we'll start with that and see where it leads us. U is 2 plus LNT. If we differentiate that, du by dt gives us, well, if we differentiate natural log of t, we get 1 over t, don't we? So du by dt is 1 over t. Um, let's think about the limits as well before we actually work out how we can <coughs> substitute things in. When t equals 1, u is 2 plus ln 1. Well, natural log of 1 is 0, so that's u equals 2. If t equals e, then u is 2 plus natural log of e, and the natural log of e is 1. So that's 2 plus 1, so that's 3. So our limits are going to change. Instead of 1 and e, we're going to have 2 and 3. Um, how are we going to, how are we going to get this, this whole dt bit out of there? Well, well, actually, can we see it? We've got 1 over t appearing inside this. What we can think about this integral, you, you, might, not, you might not write this, but this is 1 over 2 plus ln t squared times 1 over t dt. Can you see that? Now that's quite good because that means that this line here, we can think of this as being du equals 1 over t dt. And it's, it's ever so slightly dodgy to split it up like that. But in practice it's okay. We can, you know, it's, it's a nice way of thinking it through. We're looking to get 1 over t dt because <coughs> that's the same as du. So that bit we can just replace with du. This bit here, well let's, let's do it now. We've got the integral 1 over 2 plus ln t all squared. 2 plus ln t was u. So that's 1 over u squared. 1 over t dt is the same as du. And we've changed the limits to 2 and 3. Okay, so we're integrating between 2 and 3, u to the minus 2 du. It's not a natural log thing, is it? Because it's, that's only if the power is 1. If we integrate u to the minus 2, we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power between 2 and 3. And if we sub in the limits we've got, that really means minus 1 over u, doesn't it? So we've got minus 1 over 3, take away minus 1 over 2. And the nice answer that we end up with here is uh, going to be a sixth. Now I can look and see if that's right. It was right. Um, and actually, interestingly, uh, I did this. Uh, this was a mock exam a few years ago, and I've got what I did on my whiteboard, and I did it as a mock exam. Um, and I didn't do it quite the same way, which is quite an interesting thing. You know, there are often different ways of doing it. I resolved this whole du by dt bit slightly differently when I did it that time. Um, but there you are. Is everybody happy with the way that that works through? <coughs> it looked a little bit scary at first, didn't it? I thought that question, but, but actually it worked out quite nice. One of the things, I, I, don't, know, I don't know what um, Paul and John and Graham have done about changing limits with substitution questions, but my kind of default method, the preferred thing for me, would be to change the limits at the start and work with the new variable as my limits you know that you don't have to do that. You can keep the limits as they were, and once you've done your integration, undo the substitution again. So do the substitution backwards. So keep it as 1 and E, and once you get to this stage here, 
write this as minus 1 over 2 plus ln t, and then use the original limits. And that will give you the same answer. But I think it's often more straightforward to change the limits and work through with the new limits. Especially if you, you know, I mean, that, that's really nice to solve that in, isn't it? There we are. And that's math.